Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video. And subscribe to Fair's Learning Centre. My next example is 896 divided by 10. I have chosen this number purposely because later on I will be showing you what happens when we have no digits at the end. Let's look at this question. 896 divided by 10. What does that mean? It means making the number 896 10 times smaller. We are going to bring in our decimal, just like I have shown you from the first example. We are going to move to the left one time. Why are we moving to the left one time? It's because we have one zero. So here we go. We have moved the decimal point, which was at the end of six, and now it has, it is, in between 9 and 6. Now our answer is 89.6. Let's look at the next example. 896 divided by 100. 896 divided by 100. The first thing we're going to ask ourselves is how many zeros does 100 have? It has two zeros. One, two. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to make your decimal point visible in the whole number 896. Here is my decimal and it is now visible. We are going to be moving towards our left two times because we have two zeros. Remember, when we are dividing, making the answer smaller, we are always moving towards our left. So let's go. One, two. So now this is what my answer is. Let's write it down as it is. 8.96. So 896 divided by 100 gives me 8.96. Well done. Let's look at the last question. 896 divided by 1,000. 896 divided by 1,000 means making the number 896 1,000 times smaller. You may have realised that the number 896 is smaller than 1,000. So that means we are going to have a decimal which is going to be at the very end. And I'm going to show you how to tackle this question and I'm going to show you what to do if this happens. So we are dividing a number, 896, a smaller number, with a bigger number, dividing it by 1,000. So let's see what do we need to do. So first of thing, first, first thing, we need to do is we need to look at the we need to see how many zeros are in 1000 one two three so we're moving three decimal points to the left so here is my decimal point it is visible i have made it visible now i'm going to move towards my left one two, three. So this is how my answer is. I am going to write my answer exactly how it is at the moment. 0.896. Right, if I give this to my teacher or my professor, he is going to give me a cross because this is not a proper number. It's not a number which is recognised. As you can see, we got 0 0.896. We need to put something in front of the decimal, even if it is a zero. And here, what we're going to do is we are going to put a zero. The reason why we're putting a zero is because zero means nothing, doesn't it? 
Zero means nothing. So, 896 divided by 1000 equals 0 0.896. Do not get worried if you are dividing a number, a smaller number, with, with a bigger number. You will get a decimal. However, with every decimal that you get, if you don't have a whole number they have given us, just like my first example, there was a whole number, the whole number was one. But here, the whole num there was no whole number. Therefore, when there is no whole number, we are going to pop in a zero. Because zero means nothing. By putting a zero here, it doesn't affect the answer. So now let's look at the pattern. 896 divided by 10, we moved to decimal point one time because there was one zero. 896 divided by 100, we moved to decimal point two times and we made 8.96 because there were two zeros in the hundred. And with 896 divided by 1000, we moved to decimal point three times. You can also notice the numbers. So as you can see, as the numbers, as the number 896 divided by 100, I hope this top trick helped you. Thank you for watching Faz Learning Center.